Hello everyone, this is Hello Iedereen1345 again with another tutorial, only this one will be different. We're going to be doing a WPF application tutorial. Now, um, the upsides on the WPF application, um, or as it is called, a Windows Presentation Foundation client, um, you design it using uh, XAML, which is this. I mean, you can easily adjust everything like right here so what I like to do first of all I always like to do the background first because it's quite annoying if you have to do that afterwards um, especially when you have an entire window full uh, layout precious text visibility let's see oh god damn it I hate that there we go, that's better. Um, I always like to use a um, fade to black type of stuff. But I do it different. I, don't, I do not want it to be like black and white. That is too standard. Like a little bit more in the red area. Uh, let's see, get back in the key of red. Something like that. That's that's good. Good enough. Now, um, in this tutorial, I'll be uh, explaining a little bit more about the uh, XAML because, of course, C sharp is C sharp. No matter if you do it in a WPF application, console application, or um, forms application, it still stays C sharp. Same code. Everything is almost the same. But in WPF application, is I mean, the coding is the same, but the design can be done differently. Like, if I get a button in here, as you can see, pretty standard. I have a button. But the background can be altered. Like, if I want to say I want this button to have a different look, I don't know, like a f like black to, black to orange, and then... Oh, no, no, if we do that like that, we do not want black in there. We want some other color. I mean you can go from green to yellow here. Let's see here. See you can make the button look as good as you want of course when you do that you must remove the border. Here. So as you can see you can like design your your very own stuff um, also at, at the WPF application oh, remove that anchor at the WPF application you don't have that like standard background behind the text of the checkboxes and everything so that's pretty handy when you want to design a, a professional looking application uh, as you can see, I can uh, I can alter the background of the chat or the, the border of the checkbox. Um, let's give it a bit less opacity. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see. You can literally design it your own way. So I'm not just gonna leave the tutorial at this because I mean uh, that would be very short. Uh, what I can explain a little bit more is this uh, code behind it. I mean you can add your own attributes behind this in code. You don't have to do it with the properties click drag stuff you can just do it by code just like you would do on a Windows phone application I don't know if you guys did that probably not um, you can download the uh, SDK for Windows phone at uh, Microsoft site as you can see I can do everything with this So I can say I want a different font. 
I don't know, Hebrew, something like that. And then I can just say um, that the standard checked application, uh, the standard checked, I don't know, is checked. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I can say that it is checked as standard. So you could just add anything you want. You can change the attributes with code, which is pretty handy if you know how to. Um, because if you have to look through these, and you're just gonna get crazy. I have it all the time that I need something and that I'm looking like a crazy person through the list and then it's just at the top or something like that. Annoying. Alright. So right now I'm going to change this. I mean, um, let's just say you have like a picture of a chair or something in here and you want people to be able to click on the chair. You make the button button as big as the chair. Well, I don't have a chair right now. Uh, a photo of a chair in the background. But just imagine that there's a chair right behind the button right now. What we do, we remove the background and the text. And then you see that we have a little border. Now, I mean, you can try that, but that doesn't work. What you need to do is you need to go somewhere over here. That's what I meant by, uh, you know, looking through the list. And you can change the opacity to zero. It would hide the button completely. And now you're going to see that I cannot click, I cannot easily click on it. So let's go to the events and come on, you should be, oh yeah. Alphabetical. There, it immediately brings us to the code behind it. And then you can do a message box. I know, uh, imagine that there's a chair right here. I don't have a picture of it. Um, I'm just, just using it as an example. And people click it, and it says you click the chair. So basically, you just create a little hitbox around it with a button. And then you make the button invisible. Like that. Um, so you can easily resize like the window like that. Um, everything will go into a little thing called the grid. The grid right here. God, what is with my voice today? I'm not saying the words as it should um, be pronounced. Let's take a look. Um, as you can see, everything goes into the grid. You cannot drag anything out of the grid. It will just go in the grid. That is that it is close to. So let's just grab the grid, make it bigger again, and then you'll see that I can reach it. So yeah, this was my little short uh, kind of quick tutorial on uh, XAML code. Um, you can use an uh, XAML. Oh no 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 no! It's not close like that. Uh, you can easily use XAML for. Um, Let's see where is it for silver light no I don't want to save it it's a tutorial thing yeah 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 what like seriously it seems that my uh, I wanted to show you that uh, it uses the same system but my silver light has crashed it's not really what I wanted. Hmm. Nope. 
it completely crashed. Oh, maybe I can still fix it, and otherwise I will leave it at this. Um, uh. All right, I will leave it at this. Um, I hope you learned from my tutorial, and uh, I will hopefully see you soon. Please subscribe. Um, I uh, currently don't have a lot of subscribers. I mean, 21 somewhere around, I believe. Um, so maybe if you just like uh, have a friend that is in programming and or wants to learn it, refer to my channel, subscribe, favorite it, and all that stuff. And uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video.